Hi guys, welcome back to Tea at Four. I'm Christy and for today's quick cuppa, I've got a special guest. And this special guest has come with some treats and some goodies for moi. <laughs> for moi. So I feel extra, extra special today. But honestly, guys, I am joined with the beautiful Ellie. Woo! Clapping so, for myself. <laughs> why not? Give why me not? your flowers, girl. So Ellie, please, like you are an in entrepreneur 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 <laughs> she is the mvp and please just you know tell us more about you why are you on this lovely yellow sofa so i brought some treats for you okay they are alcoholic iced tea treats wow called naughty 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 so mm -hmm. i am the founder of naughty um i came up with it a year ago nearly wow. so yes yeah, taking some time yeah but um now it's out in the world it launched in may Mm -hmm. um and you can drink it now mm -hmm. um so yeah basically came up with the idea at a festival oh um, wow tomorrowland to be yeah. precise crazy time yeah. <laughs> um and just doing that classic thing where you're at a festival like you start on one drink mm. you're there really you're like oh kind of like going through the motions of like how many drinks can i try yeah by the afternoon i'm like i look a bit pregnant and <laughs> the bloke's serious yes. like it's hot i'm gonna crop top like mm. um and yeah, just had seen on the bar that they had iced teas. Yeah. And I'm a vodka girly, so I like mixing okay. my drinks. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to mix the iced tea with the vodka. I've done it before. And okay. Tastes That's, good. That is absolutely different. It, I would never thought iced tea, vodka. Well, it slapped. Like, okay. no, no surprise there, it slapped. Yeah. And then that was just me for the rest of the festival then. That, mm. was, that was all I was drinking. Wow. And it was just so smooth and refreshing. And literally, literally couldn't get over that. I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get over so it. So talk to me. You're you've left the festival. You're, you've gone home, and you know the taste still lingering. You're thinking, <laughs> oh, what is this? What was the next step for you? Because I feel like it's great to have like, oh my god, this is a sick, you know, idea. What was that motivation for you to actually go on and actually create naughty? Yeah. Well, I originally had thought, surely I can't be the one to have <laughs> thought of this yeah. amazing idea. So I I just started looking into it. And I thought, like, come on, there's got to be, mm -hmm. somebody's got to have done this. I've got to be able to buy this from yeah. somewhere in a can because it's a genius course, idea. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't. Well, I, I could if I was in the US. Yeah. So as it happens, it's called hard tea over there. And it's hard huge. Hard tea. Yeah, hard tea. It's huge. US and Canada. Um, mm. And they have it in, like, big, like, stellar-sized cans. Wow. Um, but, yeah, when I tried to get it here, I just couldn't get anything. So then the kind of my mind started just going. And yeah. Like, could I? do this yeah is, is this a silly little idea that i could like have a go at so mm. yeah i just started looking into like okay if i did this what are the steps i need to take how do i figure out how to do this yeah um what would i like call it mm. how would i target the consumer like what am i going for what's the vibe that i want and basically i just started like putting everything into a bit of like a very loose deck for yeah. myself oh, which wow. ended up I look back on it sometimes now and I'm just like this makes no sense yeah um but you know in my mind it did at the time and yeah just kind of went from there so yeah. it's it took a while mm. but that's just because I didn't have a clue what I was doing I'm actually intrigued to see like the branding and how the the naughty brand looks like well so let's could, show you then shall yeah, we can shall can we? can you know bring some naughty on the table <laughs> So we can get a nice, this is basically like a first, oh gosh. It's like drum roll, please. Yeah, a first honest <laughs> review. <laughs> review. Oh, God. God, Ellie, how are you like feeling? <laughs> Stress. Okay, so we've got, oh wow. We've got naughty orange. No. Peach. Peach. Oh. <laughs> I like how you went with colour. I went with colour. <laughs> naughty know. orange and naughty yellow. <laughs> <laughs> naughty peach and naughty lemon. Um, Which one's your favourite? Oh, you can't make me pick. Yeah, it's like I have trying to, to pick between my kids, which yeah. I don't have, by the way. Um, I think Peach edges it slightly yeah. for me. Can I just say, I love the texture. The Thank texture you, of the can. Yeah. I really love it. Because, you know, a lot of the time, let's say, for instance, if this was nicely chilled, you're coming mm. out of the, the fridge, you know, the ice is just trickling down. You know, sometimes you're holding like a can and it just slips out of your fingers. Yeah, this won't This slip. doesn't. This is grip. I like yeah, the grip because it's naughty. Yeah. You got grip onto the naughtiness. Yeah. Oh, no, I like this. It's just bold. <laughs> I feel like I'm selling it for you. It's bold. You are, please. Okay, so when I get sick, I've got no lemon ginger. Mm. I put a bit of Ray and Nephew in it. It's a bit like white rum in it. Oh. And it's meant, oh guys, let me land. <laughs> and let me land. It's a Caribbean thing. And when I mean it knocks the cold yeah, out of you. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> God. <laughs> It knocks. I mean, don't put too much in there because you will sleep. But is it's, it Ray and Nephew like? 
70 yeah. percent it's strong it's like 63 but i mean a bit of lemon and ginger a bit of can you taste anything other than i mean you can taste the honey and the ray yeah, <laughs> yeah. sweet but it does that's nice. the job so i'm excited what's your um, what is your go-to alcohol oh choice i'm a maybe i'm an alcoholic i'm a rum girl <laughs> mm. i'm a dark rum yeah i love a dark rum what about you? I'm a vodka girl. You're a vodka girl. Yeah. Producer Bob. I know that sounds rank and it sounds yeah. like I should be stuck at uni or something, but I just, because I don't taste it as much. Yeah. It depends on the vodka. Yeah. <sighs> mm, yeah, I'm a, I'm a vodka. Vodka yeah. soda lime. Vodka soda lime. Mm. I had a very bad experience with vodka before, but Tell I used to drink, it, um, oh, Glenn's <laughs> paint strip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I was, yeah, Glenn's. I remember a time at uni, pre-drinks i know but we didn't have a mixer so we decided to mix it <gasps> wait, wait, let me lad let me lad i mixed it with you know um ribena the squash yeah the, the, the yeah the squash so i put the liquid in poured the glens and then a dash of water because i thought obviously yeah, the key thing here is the dash of water and yeah needed maybe like <laughs> yeah a um, glass of it so now there's pictures of me like pretending to swim on my friend's <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so vodka. Okay, not for me. Well, I feel. I uh, hopefully this brings it back. Yeah. For you. All right. Cool. So should we have a taste? Yeah. Let's open it together. Hopefully I can because me and my nails. I'm gonna join in even though I've already had some. <laughs> <laughs> Just technical difficulty. Take time. Oh. ASMR. <laughs> it smells nice, though. Here's to naughty. Cheers. <laughs> I wish it clinked, but sadly. <laughs> no, let's go. Guys, this is bad. <laughs> no, not bad. <laughs> not bad, bad. No, wait. It's Guys, bad. Why is she on? This is terrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's bad because it just tastes like juice. Yeah. yeah. I can taste the peach iced tea. The vodka's not too like strong, but it's there. It's there, but it's but not. Oh, Ellie, Ellie, what have you done? I know. It's so easy. What have you done? No, honestly, guys, <laughs> naughty is naughty. <laughs> Do you know, I think what I love about it is it's given I can drink it again and again and again. Yeah. It, it doesn't blow. Mm -hmm. And a lot of drinks blow and I hate that. You're not going to be burping after these. No, and that's good. Yeah. Can you imagine in a festival, you know, after a couple of cans and then it's like, okay, guys, I've got a, or singing a song halfway. <laughs> that is not cute. But this is, wow. It's, I kind of came with it as a, I guess it's an alternative to a hard seltzer because mm -hmm. I'm a hard seltzer girly. So like if I'm at like a festival or a rave or whatever, yeah. I would go to that because yeah. it's water, although it's sparkling. So this True. is kind of like your, it, this is mostly water, but mm. it's just still instead mm. of sparkling. So yeah, Great easy. Stuff. Speaking of it being so easy, refreshing and fun, we're about to play a game that we play on the show called Spill the Tea, but we're not spilling no tea, we're spilling the no tea. Love so it. what do you think I should go? Should I spill the lemon or should I spill the peach? I feel like you want to savor the peach so you can yeah. spill the lemon. I spill the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go spill the lemon. How are you feeling? I've watched a few of these now and really? I'm really just not sure <laughs> <laughs> the way this is going to go. All right, let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Right. I recently broke my phone and I couldn't afford a new one. So I decided I'd just fork out and get it fixed on the sly. But before handing it in, I decided to download all of my photos onto my work laptop just in case anything went wrong. Anyway, I hand it in and go off to work. In the morning, my boss asked me to lead this big presentation because the usual guy was out sick. I didn't want to admit that I had no idea what I was doing, so I just nodded and said, sure. I connect my laptop and stand up in front of the entire team, sweating bullets and stumbling over every word. Halfway through, I accidentally click out of the slideshow and couldn't figure out how to get back. As I'm frantically tapping all of the buttons, the folder holding all of my usually very private photos pop up. In amongst the 30 photos on screen was a bunch of images that I'd taken the week before with the intent of showing my doctor. Yep, roughly eight photos of my variously shaped feces spread across the big screen in front of my boss and our entire department. The worst thing was it took me a minute or two to exit the folder. It felt like an eternity. Everyone was staring at me in disbelief. I'm honestly dreading going back to the office. 
swallow me right now. <laughs> Let the ground swallow me right now. What do you do? I can't even. I can't. Can you imagine like... <laughs> or, no, but you, for me, imagine, You might right? just have to own that. How? Yeah. How? Sorry, guys. I'm Bad battles. <laughs> Bad battles. No. But my thing is, imagine if like, you know them presentations, in my head I kept seeing like, you know when you stand that right at right front and the screen's right behind you. Oh, so and you got a click know. Up, Right. So... Sis, no. Have, have you ever done anything like that? Either of you? Um, <laughs> not, that not, I, not, <laughs> that, not that I would like to confess, but um, I'm impressed they were in a folder. There you go. <laughs> yeah. would you not, what do you name not, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you not put it like in an email? I wouldn't have, it's your work laptop too, madam. Madam. Yeah. I really didn't know what way that was going. Yeah. No, I got a bit scared. I was just I was like, what? I've done it before where I was at after work drinks and I was quite new and I was showing photos of my holiday to a guy that we work with. Yeah. And um, I was just sliding through showing the photos and then slid onto one where it was a mirror selfie of me completely <laughs> naked <laughs> trying to take a photo of my sunburnt ass. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. Oh my like, God. I was so sure. new. It was probably about a month in. Oh, bless. <laughs> always risky going through your photos, your photos. I'm always scared. I feel like, this is why I don't take photos. Mm. <laughs> just ever. Do you know it is? I feel my camera roll is more filled with my friends than it is with me. Yeah. It saves me a lot of, um, you know, bad experiences just in yeah. case I just tumble into. And knowing me, you know them kind of like weird photos you take randomly to like, oh my God, guys, look at this. I've got something up my... Just take a quick photo. So imagine now going, no. And you forget, you don't tend to delete these things. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Right. Fill up. Let's go again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, okay. <laughs> Obviously, we all know how messy bottomless brunches can get. Mm. But there was a body B story that goes down in history between me and my friends. It was after two hours of Prosecco, where in what felt like a matter of minutes, we went from joyous drunk to one girl throwing up in a cup at the table, one girl trying to run outside to be sick, slipping on another girl's sick and sliding headfirst into the tub. <laughs> <laughs> sliding headfirst into the double doors and another two who made it to the tube but threw up simultaneously on the platform. Safe to say we're gonna stick to normal brunches from now on. <laughs> I thought that was my story at a moment because <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to me once. Um Go went on. to a bottomless brunch and um yeah, I went to a bottomless a bottomless brunch once. It was like a Mexican themed one, not too far from my house, Dawson, that area. Um and uh the drinks, margaritas were going in. The margaritas were going in, going in, going in, going in. Got to a point where I was I I'm I'm an alcoholic. I can drink. But the, but that day I couldn't drink. I don't know what's going on. So um we're sitting down and I was like to my friend, I don't feel too good. And they're like, What do you mean you don't feel too good? I feel like I need to go. She's like, what do you mean you need to go? I was like, I need to throw up. They're like, No, Chrissy, you're fine, don't do that. So um they didn't believe me, so you know what I did? I had my scarf sitting no. on the side of on the side of me and I just went, Oh yeah, just just drops I pretended to drop something at the floor. I was like, threw up. <sighs> on my scarf that was right next to me scooped it up with the scarf uh. <laughs> and I was like to her sis we need to go what do you mean to go I need to go because and she was like what do you mean to go so I had to quickly show her and can you imagine the stick just running through your oh my god so as I was out <laughs> running out of um, the the store the store the, the restaurant um, you know man in my best thinking I've, I've made it I've made it did I not bump into the waiter <laughs> then the scarf with the sick dropped on the floor <laughs> and I just ran out. So literally, that's, I'm pretty sure that scarf is still there. Maybe in their lost and found. Maybe they've thrown it, hopefully. I really hope they threw that away. Um, <laughs> yeah. Bottomless brunch or not for the week. Don't do bottomless it. Bottomless margaritas, what are you doing? That is messy. I mean... How many did you have <sighs> before you started feeling a bit... This is the thing, I'm a very competitive person. So he's like, you can't out drink me. I was like, okay, cool, oh, all right. Maybe, maybe rum, I can't out drink you, but margaritas, what is my, what's the alcohol in margaritas? Tequila, right? Tequila. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Learned my lesson. Strong. <laughs> yeah, strong tequila, so. You learned a lesson that day. Yeah, threw up on my lovely scarf that I will never see again. I hope it wasn't like a really fond scarf of oh, yours. it really was. Uh. Yeah, it wasn't even mine. <laughs> That's it's, it's my mum's. Oh, no. Sorry, mum. <laughs> She yeah. never asked where it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I've not seen it, but yes, 
in the bin somewhere. Okay. Mm. Fill up. Yeah. <laughs> On that note. <sighs> um. Mm. <clears throat> so, this is how I learnt my work calendar wasn't private. I got a message today from my boss saying, Paul, I want to do a product intro for our new account this Friday. The only good spot for most people in their calendar you have blocked out with a title, get a chicken. Is this something you could move to join us? <laughs> no? I'm going to roll on. I'm going to roll on. Mm -hmm. Stay full. I once got into a tent in a, I once got into an intense drunken argument with my dad because I was sure the lyrics to the George Michael song were wake me up before you coco. <laughs> one time at a party i got so drunk and i french exited to bed mm -hmm. i woke up in the middle of the night under the bed thought i was buried alive in a coffin and started screaming the house down mm -mm. do you call it french exit or irish irish exit mm. irish mm. i don't even know what a french exit or irish exit is it's where you like sneak off without saying goodbye uh -huh. So it's a French exit. I've never heard of that. Neither. Oh. I thought it was just like when you're Houdini. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I know there's a song, Houdini. <laughs> no. well, it is a song, yeah. So who's Houdini? He's, no. he's, it's like a magician disappearing act thing. Oh, when you Houdini. <laughs> Poof, like the, oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't know that. That's, you know there that. You go. Wow, okay. All right, okay. okay. Another one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um... My friends and I were stumbling home from what became an unintentionally very drunken night out. We made our way to the train station and on the way to the escalators, my legs sweep from underneath me and I rock it to the bottom. Too drunk to stand, I lay there letting the escalator rotate over me again and again like sushi on a conveyor belt. In true London style, commuters were just stepping over me as though there was nothing to see until my friends finally make it to the bottom and drag me to my feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad vibes <laughs> no, because how, how can you if you saw that are you picking her up in her up surely that would hurt that's what I'm thinking surely she's injured yeah and people just stepping over her but then again it's that fear it of if I help her and I drop two then <laughs> we're all now on a belt like sushi so what do we do bad vibes that's rough yeah this is so London. So London. Yeah. Bad vibes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'll try a few more. Yeah. Um, mm. Okay. The other night, my wife and I were getting ready for bed and being kind of flirty. I had to use the restroom, so I stayed downstairs while she went up to bed. Mm -hmm. While I was sitting on the toilet, I got a text. Bring a bucket and a mop. Crap, one of my kids must have thrown up. I finished my toilet business and I went down to the basement to check the cleaning supplies. Found a bucket, but I couldn't find a mop. I found one of those squeezy sponge things, but the sponge was missing. Figuring the vomit was probably congealing by this point, I grabbed a bucket and a bunch of paper towels and ran upstairs. I got to the upstairs bathroom and found no mess. Carried the cleaning supplies down to my kids' room, but found no mess. Went back into our bedroom and found my wife lying on the bed, spread wide open. She asked what had taken me so long and I said I couldn't find a mop. Where's the mess? She started rolling around on the bed laughing. Suddenly I realised bring, bring a bucket and a mop was the line from that song, WAP. <laughs> <laughs> my wife had just been in the mood and I just spent 15 minutes looking for a mop in the basement. Can you imagine? So that I'm just laying there like, what the hell is this guy? I'm trying up by then. <laughs> yeah, wait, yes, we'll see no more. I'm trying up. <laughs> no, that, I was trying to find, but I was like, I, I didn't quite get it until I didn't. Yeah, that yeah. was. I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> Very smart. What a smart? Smart, lady. <laughs> smart lady, but <laughs> yeah, wrong audience. There you go. Can you imagine? I've gone downstairs. There's no mess. I've gone into my kids' room. There's no mess, and then you're telling me it's. I'd be like, you just have to laugh at that point. <laughs> you would. Yeah, I would laugh and go to bed because at this point, I the mood is done. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. okay, right. I'll do a couple more. I need a top up. The lemon is really oh in the system. <laughs> yeah, she's feeling fruity. <laughs> no, guys, be buying. <laughs> be buying. 
I obviously just don't want to waste mine, so. <laughs> yeah. Dre, she, she, listen, she stands by her brand. <laughs> she stands by you. Naughty. That was a naughty d- dilemma there. Naughty to you. That was, yeah, that was very naughty. Very naughty. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I got home from a night out rather inebriated and I couldn't get my mind off of wanting a donut. But what's inebriated? Is that what you're going to ask? <laughs> Of all the things that's got me, is you asking. <laughs> what does inebriated mean? Sorry, because if I didn't ask, I would have not known. As soon as your hand went up, I thought she doesn't know what inebriated means. <laughs> no, I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> You've learned so many words today. I know. Oh. Houdini, Houdini. Today, today has been so educational. Thank you. <laughs> what an educational <laughs> episode. <laughs> and it's meant to be naughty. <laughs> Okay, so what, is it, what does it actually mean? Drunk. Uh, drunk. Why Why do people just say drunk? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Ine- oh, I feel quite inebriated. Yeah, I had too much naughties. What's naughty? Well, it's a new drink. You get it on peach and in lemon. I think you should go on <laughs> www.naughty-drinks.com. <laughs> That's my jingle right there. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go. <laughs> <Whew>. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I got home from a night out rather inebriated and I couldn't get my mind off of wanting a donut. But nowhere was open where I could get a donut. So what I thought was geniusly, I frosted a stale hot dog bun that I had in the cupboard. Okay, I'm going to go another one. <laughs> my wife. Oh, oh. No. My wife is currently breastfeeding. Once, when mid-feed, the doorbell rang, she goes to it and the delivery driver would not look at her. Kept staring at the door frame, the sky, mm. the driveway, anywhere but her. She dismissed him as being generally a bit odd until she sat back on the sofa and realised her boob had been hanging out of her top the whole time. Um... Just worked out that me and my friends between us have spent 130 nights in Ibiza on lads' holidays, but not a single one of us has pulled. Where's your is? <laughs> <laughs> no, where's your... 100 and how many days? 130. Come on, that's like... Is that a month? That's Somebody a, do the maths. How? Yeah, that's a month. Uh, <laughs> is that a month? Is that a month? <laughs> Wait, 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 it is, it is. Wait, 130, wait, there's 30 days in a month. How yeah. many 30s are in 100? Four? Three? Oh my God. <laughs> three, three, three. 30, 60, 90, 90. Disclaimer, naughty does not remove your brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, can, can we do the maths, please? Four, four months. Four and, a, four and a bit. And you haven't pulled? <laughs> four months. Houdini. Wow. <laughs> Inebriated. <laughs> wow. Oh. Well, um, that was quite, enlightening. Yeah, enlightening. We learned some new words. Um, we need to be aware of our lyrics for <laughs> any um, encounters. But um, how did you find it? Educational. <laughs> So educational. I mean, you didn't spill much. I think there was one point that it, it got Yeah, but unit. that was at you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inebriated. <laughs> Inebriated means drunk. And um, yeah, I do feel like, I don't, I'm not drunk, but I'm in a good, in a good vibe, yeah. a good, good mood. The sun's shining and I'm super excited. For what? For what? Right. It's back now. Finally. I thought it back just in time. Mm. You've come on the pod, the sun's Naughty out. Naughty season. Naughty, oh, naughty season. Mm. And oh my gosh, I just deeped it. The colours of, um, well, it's peach, but you know, I guess. Orange. Orange, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, the branding goes with so much of the set. I love it. Right. So I feel like it's just something that's going to stand out on the shelf. I can't wait to like stock it up on my fridge. And no, honestly, I'm really excited to see what else you have in plan with Naughty Ellie. Like, Thank you. What are you looking forward to this summer? Festy season. Yeah. Be. Yeah. With Naughty everywhere. Well, I hope so, but No, yeah. no, no. We, we're going to manifest it. We're manifesting it. it everywhere. 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 All your go-to festivals. 
where, please tell me, for me and those that are watching and listening, where can we buy Naughty? The easiest place would be on the website. Mm -hmm. So naughty-drinks.com and it's next day delivery. It's very quick. Okay, So get stocked up, people. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You heard it here first. Naughty everywhere in your face. Just get a a bleeding naughty. (laughs) Be naughty with naughty. No, honestly. There's so many. I I, I love it. (laughs) Like, just... Lightweight, easy, good grip. <laughs> Even if you're drunk, a good, there's a good grip on it. <laughs> Ellie's like, get this. probably she drank too much security. <laughs> but no, honestly, I am so happy to have you on. And thank you for letting us, you know, try this. Thanks for having me. Drink. Thanks for trying it live. No, I, I loved it. I was scared. After, I was after you said bad. I mean, bad as in this good. Is bad, <laughs> but it means good. <laughs> bad as in good. But honestly, it's been amazing. And I can't wait to see what naughty has in store for Thank this you. summer and very honored keep drinking them yes of course cheers <laughs> Woo! Woo!